All right, so we're kind of fast forwarding a couple days here. The footage I had of me setting up the tanks, moving them into the room, um, putting the paneling on and whatnot. I was shooting that with my GoPro and for whatever reason, my memory card is just not saving footage, I guess. So I did move a couple of the tanks. The only tank we have out here now is the 180. I got a couple buddies gonna come over uh, tomorrow, help me move that tank into the fish room, but I do have a couple tanks set up in there, so let's go check them out. Alright, so here we have it. This will be tank number one. A little 40 gallon. This is the stand that's going to be holding the 180 right there on top that we're moving in tomorrow. But yeah, this is just a little grow out tank. Got the 3D background still in there. Um, I know some some of you guys out there do comment on my 3d background and ask if it's durable does it last well what you're seeing right there that background's about a year year and a half old i will put the link up in the description and uh yeah you guys can build one of those backgrounds right there i think i spent about 20 bucks on that but this is just a little grow out grow out tank here like i said gotta get the 180 up there tomorrow this is the double 75 stand. I think it turned out excellent. Like I said, that's the paneling I'm gonna be using right there to wrap the front and the sides of this one. But Pablo has been super happy in his new tank. Still a camera shy right now. He's been going from tank to cooler to tank to cooler. This moving process is been rough on all my fish, but everybody's still doing really good. And I really like how things are turning out so far. Um, I know I was undecided what I was doing here in the closet area, but we were getting one of those mermaid totes right there in the corner. Uh, just 150 gallon. We'll get that there. I wanted to squeeze the 180 in here, but don't know if I'm gonna do that, so I might put that out in the bonus room. We might get some smaller tanks to put up here. Start a shrimp tank. Um, I'll have a backup tank for my peacock bass when they breed. Um, don't know exactly what I'm gonna be putting up in the next 75 gallon up here, but I'm just gonna be building the fish room as much as I can and we'll fill the tanks once I get everything established so it's gonna be a little ride but appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out on the update of the new fish room build. Alright so it's the next day the buddies are gonna be here in about an hour to help me move the 180 gallon into the fish room. You guys are about to see some excitement me trying to get these fish out of this tank and into their coolers. I will get a good shot of the big bass. Now I'll hold them up for the camera for you guys, show you guys actually how big that fish really is. But for now, we're just gonna get them out of the tank, into the cooler. Once I get the tank set back up in the other room, filled with water, all their filtration running for a little bit. Once I go to put him back in the tank, I will hold them up and just show you guys how massive that fish really is. He's a beast. He's uh, 19 inches, so really don't got to wait for him. But uh, yeah, big ass fish. Let's get a boy.
So we got the fish in the coolers now. There's mom and pop. 19 inches that big boy is. This is a 24 inch cooler here. We also got Gar and another bass sitting in there. We got the stingray chilling in this bucket. Not the proper bucket, but doing what we can. But we did move the 180 gallon. Uh, had my buddies come over about an hour ago. We picked that up, moved it into the fish room. I did not capture that footage. It was just kind of hectic. Everybody showed up at once. You know, I'm moving fish, draining tanks. It just kind of got busy, but it is what it is. We got the 180 up here now. A little cloudy, but just put in the black sand, so that's expected. Filters will take care of that in about an hour, hour or so. So, got the filtration down below, 40 gallons running. Everything's looking good there. Um, once I get the background, all the driftwood in, everything established, I will be wrapping this in the decorative plywood that we put here. It's gonna be looking good. We still gotta get the 75 gallon up above the other 75, but fish room's turning out nice. Like I was saying, in this corner behind the door, in the closet area, we're going to be getting 150 gallon Rubbermaid, uh, one of those Rubbermaid totes. I think that would look pretty slick right there. But yeah, room's turning out great. Don't even need the light on. Aquarium's lighted up good enough. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think it's turning out pretty good. Shout out to me, little 